All Lang Syne is one of those songs that everybody knows, but nobody knows what it means. I mean, you get the, the, the warm fuzzies when you sing it, and you know it has something to do with friendship and the new year and, and valuing the friendships of the past and so on, but the words are in Old English, so it's kind of hard to understand exactly what they mean. But today I'd just like to show you that, uh, like so many songs, you can play Auld Lang Syne with either three chords or a whole bunch of chords, like 12 or more chords. And I'll just demonstrate that. Now, let's put it in the key of F. The F, uh, key of F, of course, is uh, based on the scale of F, which has one flat. And so, by just taking the three primary chords in the key of F, which are F, the one chord, B flat, the four chord, and C, the five chord, or putting a seventh of the C, five, seven, we can live with just those three chords, one, four, and five. Many thousands of songs can be played with just one, four, and five, but that doesn't mean we should. If we know more chords, we should use more chords for variation. But let me first play All Lang Syne just as uh, it, with three chords, okay? simple melody and only goes from here up to there the highest note so it's just a you know a nine note range okay in terms of the melody and in chords you can just use those three chords i was just doing this real simple chording pattern okay but let me show you now you're not limited to that by using if you use the uh three keys of chord substitution you can come up with many more for example after the first chord say i don't want to play f again okay well i simply ask myself into what other chord will uh f fit and one chord that it'll fit is D minor, because D minor is relatively F major. I know that. Okay, so I can use D minor there. And the next melody note is G, and so instead of using the C chord there, I could ask myself what other chord uh, would work, would uh, G would go into. And one answer is G, G minor seventh. Of, the reason I'm picking minor seventh rather than major, either would work, okay, but we're in the key of F, so we have a B flat in the key of F, and then the next chord we can just go back to C, so let me take it that far, one chord, F, D minor, or D minor 7th, G minor 7th, C 7th, let's go ahead now, F, F, B flat, now instead of sitting there forever, let's move up to B flat, B diminished, F, A flat, B, and D natural. And now we'll go back to F. How about D minor? Now the next melody note is G. Now we can either go to C or we can go to G minor 7th. But let me pick a new one. Well, what else does G go into? Well, it'll go into E minor or E minor 7th. And the next chord, I'm just going to, going to go around the circle of fourths. You should know the circle of keys. If you don't, it's it's worth learning because it'll help you pick those uh, those right chords a little better. Uh, so I'm just going from E minor seventh to A seventh, putting a flat ninth in it, and back to D minor, B flat, C, F. Okay, now. Flat. So I'm playing E flat seventh. D minor, E flat, C. Now in the final note, I could go back to F, of course, but I'm going to ask myself, what else will F fit into? And one thing it'll fit into is D flat. And then I might just move my whole step to E flat and then to F. But let me play all the way through now.
all the chords we could use on it? Oh my no. We just used I think I think I counted to thirteen there, but we could you know we could use twenty or thirty or whatever, you know. Is that all the styles we can use? Oh my no. We could use a full chord style, we could use arpeggios on and on and on. But I just wanted to show you that a simple song like O Lang Syne, which can be played with just three basic chords, can also be enhanced to be played with many, many other chords using the principles of chord substitution and using the principles of arranging, such as uh, chord patterns and runs and fills and so on, you can come up with uh, uh, lots and lots of different styles. So, Happy New Year to you. My wish to you is that you have a great 2008 and may your, all your dreams come true, at least the ones that are good for you. So, God bless you. We'll see you uh, next year. Bye-bye for now.